Today on Be Something Wonderful, how to manifest a specific person, your SP, right now. <laughs> I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I've been getting a lot of emails on manifesting a specific person, manifesting your SP. And a lot of the questions around, Tom, is it possible? I've heard mixed stories. I've heard some say that, that if you, you can't manifest a specific person, you, you have to focus on self-love and just manifest love in your life. And then there's thousands of stories of where people have manifested their SP. So what is it? I mean, it, it, it seems to me it's easier said than done. Well, today, guys, we're going to unpack this and more. Here's what I want to say. You're right. It is easier said than done because it's done. And this is really what I want to unpack today. So let's get to it. So you say, can I manifest a specific person? And what do we say? Yes, yes, and yes. Right? The only thing that keeps you away from a specific person or whatever desire you have is resistance. And what do we mean by resistance? We mean doubt or fear or focus on the current reality where you don't have or the 3D manifests the reality where it appears that you don't have what you want. Do you hear this? That's the only thing. It's your focus on what you don't have that keeps you, ha that keeps you from getting what you do want, that keeps you from moving to the reality or, or your desired reality. So some say, and this is what you, some of the subscribers said, some say you should focus on self-love and be in a loving state and take your focus and, and take your focus off, not on, <laughs> and take your focus off the specific SP. Well, let me just say, self-love gets you everything, right? That idea of forgiveness and loving yourself gets you everything, gets you the world. We talked about this in, when we talked about A Course in Miracles, right? So that's, that's pretty good, right? Self-love, that's, that's a good thought to focus on self-love, right? To love yourself. And, and what they're talking about, and I've even talked about this, I'm leaving links to four or five videos on SPs, and I'm going to do a playlist because a lot of you have asked for playlists, and I'm going to start with SP because it's a, it's a good one. <laughs> so, so what I want to say here is that when you take your focus off a specific person, it doesn't mean you don't, you're not um, going to manifest that specific person. That's not what it's talking about. That's not the message. The message is let go of your attachment to the desire, right? Let go of your attachment to your SP, this specific person. Let go of the obsession with this person, the needing, the craving to have this specific person. So that loosens the resistance, right? You can still have an imaginal act that, that, that imagines that you're with that specific person, but, but, but not from a state of lack, not from a state of craving, not state of, from a state of needing and wanting. That's what we're talking about here. And then you said, but Neville Goddard and others teach and have manifested a specific person, and there are thousands of success stories uh, about that. Yes, that's true. There are. But I want you to think about this. And then you're saying it should be possible. I don't think I should feel it's impossible. I feel, uh, I feel more resistance when I hear that thought, that, 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 uh, that you have to take your, you, you said I feel more resistance when I hear the thought that I can't focus on my SP. And so hear this, what you're saying here, that's your resistance. Right there, asking that question, is it possible, keeps you on a, focus on a possibility where there's no answer. Do you hear this? Where it seems impossible. Right? And right here where you say Neville and others have manifested a specific, and there are thousands of others. This means you're questioning it. You need validation. You need proof that, that others have manifested. When you are the proof, you, you, the, the, your SP and everything else in 3D reality is within you. Right? So you said I, it should be possible. This implies that you believe it's impossible or that there's a possibility of non-fulfillment which is not true. There's no possibility of non-fulfillment when you believe it. You're the only one that matters. It's only your belief, 
You are the proof. That's really what I want to say. That's where your resistance is. It's within you. And when you say, I feel resistance, when I hear that, that's because you believe it's a possibility. You're buying into it. You're believing that it's possible that you can't manifest your SP when it's impossible that you, that you can't. <laughs> when you move to that space, right? When you move to that belief. So let's unpack this. Um, so, so Jesus says it. What's impossible? What's possible, Jesus? With men, this is impossible when he's talking to his uh, disciples. But with God, all things are possible. In other words, what's Jesus saying here with men, with the 3D you? With the 3D you asking what's possible. With the 3D you saying that, well, I know there's thousands of others have done it, which implies that you don't believe it. Right, that you don't, you're not fully all in on 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 your I amness, on your power. Right, that that means you're focusing on the resistance. That's what Jesus meant with men. This is impossible. It's impossible when you're in a state of not really believing it. When when you're when you're in a state of focusing just on that specific person. I've got to have that person or else. Right, where you're looking at your 3D reality and you're unhappy with it because you don't have that person, or there's a possibility you can't have that person. That keeps you in resistance. That's what we're talking about. But with God, when you, when you go within, when you identify with that simple scene, it could be just someone, you, someone saying to you, it's amazing, and, you would, and, and it's amazing you're, you're, you have everything you want. Right? That implies you're with your SP. Or you say, uh, you say uh, I've never been happier or more in love in my life. Right? That implies it. It takes the resistance off. Right? That's what we're talking about, moving, up, moving within your imagination, imagining a scene, or just assuming I am with my SP, this specific person. I choose this person. And, I'm, and, and I know now that, my, that God answers my, my, my requests, my choices. And so when I choose it, I have it, I am it, and I occupy it. And you're done with that choice. Now align every, every decision, everything that happens in 3D, align that with that choice. See everything that unfolds in 3D reality as on the path to, of least resistance to everything you desire. That's what we're talking about. It's, and this is what Jesus said, right? Jesus often talked in, in parables about, uh, rich man, about the rich man. Right? And remember, when he says rich man, he's, he's not talking about necessarily material wealth. He's talking about those that are, that are trapped in the 3D senses, trapped in the 3D world of limitation, right? Worrying about things in, that they don't have something, or they're going to lose something, or they can't get something. So Jesus talks about this. It's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than, a, than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God, again, what is that? That's your great I am this within. That's your imagination. That's you imagining that you're with your SP, imagining that you have everything you want, and then creating that inner state, that inner manifestation of you being with your SP, of you having your desires, and then it gets reflected out into the 3D world, the world of things. Right? So this is what he said. So listen to Jesus here. It's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. And there's been debate on what Jesus was getting at here. Right? We know what a camel is and we know what an eye of a needle is. And so what is Jesus really implying here? That it's, all, it's nearly impossible or it is impossible. Not nearly because a camel can't get through an eye of a needle if we think of an eye in a normal needle. Right? But really what's Jesus... So, so back in those days, here's my camel. <laughs> and, and so here's a, back in those days in Jerusalem, there were doors, security doors at night that you, that, you could enter through, that you could enter through. They were smaller than the normal door. See, the camel can fit through the normal door. But the security door... And I made a big camel here. <laughs> so it really does look impossible. And they called those security doors the eye of the needle. These, these, what, these doors into the walls of Jerusalem, right? And where at night you could enter, but you couldn't enter with your camel with the camel backs. If the camel had a lot of stuff and all your possessions were on the camel, you'd have to take those off of the camel to fit through the security door. What does that mean? So in other words, you've got to drop your worries. You've got to drop your attachments. 
you got to dr drop your anxiety and your fear and your doubt right about your SP and the cravings and all that you got to doubt all that so you can enter Jerusalem which represents the kingdom of God so you can enter free of all your attachments free of all that worry standing in the conviction that it's done and then you can fit through the door that's what Jesus is saying so a rich man meaning if you're if you're worrying if you're if you're attached if you're craving it you can't fit through the door you can't enter the kingdom of God you can't enter in the imagination where it's already done that's what we're talking about. All packs and possessions must be removed before entering the gate with the camel, right? So that's the eye of the needle. That's the camel, right? Kingdom within is your imagination. The rich man is consciousness of the world of form. It's consciousness of the world of form holding on to what you have, right? Focused on the material stuff that you don't want to lose it or focused on the lack or the doubt or the fear. It's a belief in the world of limitation. Right? Needing, wanting, striving for something. Wow, that's big. So let's hit this a little more. Your 3D personality with the doubts and the resistance is the rich man. Right? The possessions and the camel packs represent your doubts, your fears, your worries that you won't manifest this specific person. Or in other words, the attachments. Right? You've got you you to drop that inflated importance. Right? Because it's just that inflated importance that, that keeps you from everything you want. Right? You can't get through the gate carrying all that resistance. Instead, just assume it's done. That, that you, when you, in your choice, right, as Neville Goddard would say, to, to, to have it, to desire it, is to have it. In other words, to choose it is to have it. That's what, it's a choice. Right? That's what Neville meant. To desire it is to have it. When you desire something, think of your desire as a choice to have it. Right? This moves you immediately from desiring to the gratitude for already having what you wanted, previously wanted. Right? Move to that gratitude immediately because it's a choice. And when you choose it, it's yours. Then you can thank that higher power for already having it, for it being done. There's power in that, right? So you can't get through the gate carrying all that resistance, right? Rise in consciousness. Imagine your wish fulfilled and rest in the fulfillment that it's done, right? It's not, it's not about giving up. Here's this, and this is big. Because a lot of you think, well, if I don't focus on my SP, if I don't keep my hand on the throat of the world... Grab the world by the throat and keep my pressure on it and keep my focus on it. I won't get it. That's what we do, right? That's what we've been taught to do in 3D reality, to work, to strive, to keep our focus on it so hard that we know we're going to get it. We're going to wrestle it to the ground, right? That, remember, it, it, it's, when you, reality creation is not about direct, direct impact on 3D reality. When you want to hit 3D reality straight on, that... that moves you to unfavorable lifelines, that traps you in a script, in a script of your life that you don't want, in a movie role that you didn't pick, in a, a film role, right, or a lifeline that you didn't choose. Instead, choose what you want and then move with that higher power within to everything you want. You will be moved to it, right? It's not, get, it's not about giving up or letting go of the desire, never. Right? You couldn't even if you wanted to. So it's not about giving up that specific person or letting that go. Never the message. Rather, it's letting go of your attachment and inflated importance about your desire. Right? You're worshiping the creations versus the creator within. Right? Worship that I amness. Get Move there. Move in that love. Well, you're imagining that you have what you want. And then it will happen. You release the resistance and you go through the gate right with your camel so like in the parable that jesus jesus wasn't saying the rich man couldn't enter this is big right jesus never said that the rich man couldn't enter the kingdom of god that wasn't the message he said it was easier for a camel with all its facts to enter through the eye of the needle than a rich man so he didn't say that it couldn't and your imagination remembers the kingdom of god right that, that, that's what Jesus was saying. You could, he was saying that, that in the parable, it wasn't saying that the rich man couldn't enter the kingdom or your imagination. Rather, he was saying how difficult it was for him, the rich man, to enter because of his concerns, his, his attachments or her attachments or worries or his material possessions. Right? All of that keeps you from the kingdom of God, keeps you from entering an imagination to every, where everything that you want is. 
right? That creates resistance. Missed out on it, that's, that just keeps you from missing out on your heart's desire, right? The true treasure within is the kingdom or your imagination. That's where everything's created within, right? That's where, so if you keep your focus without, if you keep your focus on the 3D world, on a specific person that you don't have right now, on a specific person whom, with whom you are not with right now, right? That keeps you focused on the treasures, on the possessions, the attachments, right? So instead, move to that imaginal scene where you're already together, whatever that is. You can, something that resonates with you, but it should imply that it's already done. A scene that clearly implies you're happy, you're in love, you're, you've got everything you want, right? When you are questioning whether it's possible, when you're justifying your disbelief, hear this, you're really just trying to justify your disbelief, right? That's big. By saying there are thousands that manifest their SPs, right? You're, just, you're trying to justify why you don't believe it by saying that, right? It sounds like you're trying to justify your belief, but you're not. You're really just magnifying, hear this, your disbelief. You're really just creating a reality of disbelief when you ask those questions and get stuck in those questions. Wow, that's big. You're creating reality where the idea of fulfillment, non-fulfillment or, or not possible exists. Do you hear that? You're creating a reality where not the possibility of non-fulfillment or it not being possible exists when you do that, when you get stuck in that resistance, when you're asking those questions. So let's unpack this a little bit more. So we've talked often about the lifelines. I want you to think of these lifelines like film roles, right? We've talked about this, that every event, if, every lifeline, they're, in, they're infinite in number, has a specific script that you're living out, right? And right now, this, say this is your current lifeline, this is your current film role, that you're living. And there are infinite number of film roles that you can choose that have an infinite number of scripts that play out. You can never change the script on any particular lifeline or film role. But what you can do is imagine your wish fulfilled or imagine the future frame of your desire. And that moves you to other film roles. You're changing the film role when you choose, when you choose your wish fulfilled. You're choosing the film role and moving to where your wish is fulfilled. Moving scripts, moving lifelines to where your wish is fulfilled. You're moved by that higher power, right? It doesn't matter what you do in 3D. You will move there when, you, when your focus is on that future frame. You're lighting up that future desire. Why? Because right now you're in the current frame. This is brown, right? And you're full with the, you, you, your camel has all those packs. And you can't get through the eye of the needle, that little gate in Jerusalem, the kingdom of heaven, your imagination, imagining your future slide. You can't get in there by staying focused on the current frame. You, be, you get trapped in the current frame. And when you do, when you focus on current 3D reality, you look at the resistance, you feel the lack, you feel the absence, you get moved to lifelines. Think about this here. That's an unfavorable one. That's an unfavorable lifeline. You go, you go to lifelines where you don't have your SP. It's not in the future, right? Your future is here. Unhappy, unhappy, unhappy. Do you see that, guys? It keeps going, right? And you move to other unfavorable lifelines. But as you drop your camel packs, as you drop the worry, the craving, right? The, the needing, the wanting, all that inflated importance. You move to a lifeline where you're together with your SP, right? Or you're moving towards that and you're lighting up, the, you're continuing to light up the future frame. But it, you're moving lifelines in, in, fra in, in film roles all the time, right? And you could call this what, what we would call a favorable one because it includes your heart's desire, right? You move to favorable lifelines when you are free of resistance and light up your future. You move to unfavorable lifelines when you are focused on the current slide and, and you're in resistance. There's a, there's a couple videos and I, I, I put them below that talk about these lifelines a little bit more in details with respect to manifesting specifically your SP. So I think you'll love them. I love them, so I know you'll love them. So let's move on here. 
lifelines, realities, and versions of yourself. In other words, think of it this way. You're, you're really occupying or identifying with a new concept of yourself, a new version of yourself, a version of yourself that's with a specific person and that you're in love with that person. So you've got to become that person now within that version. How would that person feel? How would that person act? What decisions would that person make that's already with that specific person? That's the version of yourself because when you move into that version of yourself, when you identify with that version, then your SP is there and everything else that you want in your life is there. Every other desire because you move to that reality, right? Here, so where is it, where is it uh, when you ask the question, is it possible? This is where you're focused on that 0.00001% of physical manifested 3D reality. You're looking around and saying, is it possible? Can I manifest a specific person? I know there's thousands of success stories, but I can't see it from here. That's what you're saying. I can't perceive that, right? With the 3D you, as, as Jesus said, this is impossible. <laughs> That's all you're gonna see. But with your imagination, all things are possible. With that 99.99999% of unseen reality, right? Unperceptible, you can't see it with your physical eyes, all things are possible, right? When you are no longer staring at the 0.0001%, looking to change it, looking to influence it, looking to get rid of it, and instead feel your new version of yourself and reality within, it's done and it's yours. When you move here, illuminating that future slide, assuming that you're already with that person, not contradicting that new state, right? Imagining your wish fulfilled. You could be imagining a scene. It could be where you're together, but it could just be you, a friend telling you, I am so happy for you. That's it. It could be a simple phrase like that with you imagining what that implies. It's the implication. It's not the specific scene that creates the reality. It's what the scene implies. And the scene implies fulfillment, that you're with a specific person that you want to be with. Remember, you're, it's not about you manipulating their free will or even manipulating their thoughts, transmitting thoughts to them or anything like that. It's you moving to an alternative reality where you're already together. It doesn't happen, it's not, that reality is not on this current script, right? You're moving film roles. You're moving to a script where you are together. And I've talked about that in other videos. Again, check out the videos below and there are other videos on, on what it really means to be everyone as you pushed out in free will, in thought transmission. All that's covered on the channel. So you're no longer staring at that 0.001%, looking to change it, influence it, and get rid of it. Instead, Feel your new version of yourself in reality within, that it's done, it's yours. Move to that 99.9999% because then that becomes your manifested physical reality that you can see, right? Choose to have or be your desire. Occupy the identity of that new version of yourself and allow 3D reality to coalesce around the new state of being. Allow the reality mirror to reflect back your new reality. Remember to to desire it is to have it. What did Neville got it mean? It means that image is created in the desiring of it. And it starts filling in and coalescing and reflecting in 3D reality immediately. Remember, you are a reality generator with your thoughts, with your feelings, your beliefs, and your assumptions. In every moment, you are streaming, perceiving, creating, manifesting 3D reality with your state of being. And it all happens when? in this moment of now, the only moment there is. There is no past, there is no future, those are illusions, right? There's just this one big internal moment of now that includes every infinite possible reality that you could ever desire or think of, imagine of, imagine. And if you can imagine it, if you can desire it, it exists on some plane of existence and it's yours now. So let's uh, hit this a little bit more. Once you make your choice, you imagine it fulfilled, you assume it's done and occupy your new identity, your new concept of yourself, the concept where you are in love, the concept where you have everything you want, the concept like you're as happy as you've ever been, the conversation with your friend maybe, right? 
or, or people are congratulating, whatever you want, whatever that is, express gratitude to your higher self, infinity of God. Immediately occupy it, assume it, and express God gratitude. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Higher Self. Thank you, Spirit Guide. Whatever you re resonates with you, thank that higher power because now it's done. This moves you from desire to gratitude. Then let it go, right? Let it go. Don't, don't keep the world by the throat, right? You still want to have it in 3D reality. It doesn't mean you're letting go of wanting to have it manifested, but it's a different kind of wanting. Do you hear this? Once you move to that conviction that it's done, you still want it, you still desire it in 3D manifestation, but it's different now. It's a desire from a knowing. It's a desire from a conviction that it's already yours. It's from a desire of that knowing that all realities exist and you can be, do, or have whatever your heart desires merely by choosing it and then lining up with that choice, right? So it's a conviction and knowing. That's detachment. That's what we mean that you're moving from that, now it's a, a wanting from a state of conviction, a wanting from a state of knowing, desiring from a state of it already being done. That's what non-attachment non means. That's what it means to detach, right? Two things, you're detaching from your old state, right? And you're, no, and you're not attached, right? Meaning craving, wanting that new thing. You are becoming it, you're embodying it, you are it. Right? I, I remember attachment always thinks that when a thing attaches, that means that you, it feels separate from you and that you've got to attach to it. Instead, you're embodying it. You're embodying that new version of yourself. You're embodying that new reality. Right? But, and then you say, well, what about the 3D manifestation then? So, Tom, tell me, but when, I want my stuff. I want my SP. I want to see it. I want to feel it. I want to live it in 3D reality. Well, you've got to live it within before you can live it without. But so, so how do you handle 3D reality in the meantime? In the meantime, flirt with 3D reality, right? Have fun with this, guys. We're here to have fun. What do I mean by flirt? When you flirt, you show interest, right? But not too much. You're interested, but you're not craving it. You're not, you're not, you're not obsessing over it. You're not taking it by the throat. You're just having fun with 3D reality. You're winking. You're looking through the, your peripheral vision. You're having fun with it. You're showing interest. You know it's yours, right? You know 3D reality and anything you want in 3D reality is yours. So flirt with it. Have fun with it. Be light about it. Have, have a light touch. It's done. That's how to manifest a specific person. When? Right now. I am your host, Tom Karen. And this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like, and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. <clears throat> you can follow us on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful. We have a group called the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors. More and more are joining. You can join that group and you can follow us on Facebook, uh, sorry, on, on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen. Or you can visit my website anytime at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com. Guys, with great love, with great light, with infinite gratitude, see you soon.